Secrets of Alchemy, The Great Cross and the End of Time with Jay Widener. In this visually compelling and thought-provoking documentary, author, scholar, and modern-day Indiana Jones, Jay Widener, uncovers one of the deepest secrets of the ancient Western tradition of alchemy, the knowledge of the fatal season of the apocalypse, the end of time, and the great and imminent transformation of humanity. Using the work of the mysterious 20th century French alchemist Fulcanelli as his foundation and his discovery of a 350-year-old alchemical cross in the south of France, J. Widener describes the experiences, insights, and powerful evidence that open the door to a new view of the intimate relationship between myth, history, science, and the true destiny of humanity. At that point, I knew in my research that the Zeptepi, which translates to the first time of ancient Egypt, the construction of Shambhala, according to the Tibetans, the Day of Judgment, according to the Christians and the Kabbalists, the end of time, according to the Mayan calendar, and the great transformation of the human species according to the Peruvian shamans were all the same event and they were all going to happen within the time period prescribed by the cross of Hende. I no longer believe that any particular date described that time period. I believed it was more like a season of the apocalypse. The two X's on the cross made me think that it must be a 20-year cycle that ended in 2012 and began in 1992, strangely enough right when my research really started. Jay Widener reveals the ultimate meaning underlying the resurrection of Christ, the message of the book of Revelation, the vision of Ezekiel, and the Kabbalistic concept of the restoration of the world. While ancient lore tells us that the purpose of alchemy is to change lead into gold, this is only a metaphor for something far more important. The real point of the perennial tradition is to take the lead of the human body and convert it to the golden luminescence of the spirit, of the soul. The photons that exist inside our very DNA may be the driving force behind the alteration of our genetic structure. As we have seen, as time changes, the signs of the zodiac also change, and so too does the light that reaches our eyes. The quality of light dictates the quality of time. This knowledge was well known to our ancestors, and they lived as if their lives depended upon it, and indeed it does. The Kabbalists tell us that at the end of time there is what is known as the tikkun, or the restoration of the world. Through the performance of right action, holding to the truth, integrity and compassion, each individual assists in the great spiritual effort in which all opposites are reunited and perfection is restored. The sacred sparks of the divine, the angelic powers that have been weighted down as the four ages progress, are released and reunited with the divine source. The paradise that was lost to Adam and Eve is restored. Humanity's exile from the garden is over and a state of harmony and perfection returns again. Join him on this remarkable adventure as Jay Widener journeys from the shores of southern France through alchemical Europe, ancient Egypt, and Peru to decode the powerful and haunting message of alchemy and the Great Cross of Hende. Secrets of Alchemy, The Great Cross and the End of Time with Jay Widener.